Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you all are doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Virgo. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate it from my heart and it does help the channel and it makes me feel good so please do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with um, along with links to my other platforms. All right, Virgo. The channel song for you for this week is Walk On By. And it is the Sybil version and not the Dionne Warwick versions. Uh, Sybil is spelled... C-Y-B-I-L. All right. Um, from that, I am getting, you know, you're healing from something. Um, someone close to you could have... Um, oh, sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm going to turn off these notifications. Someone dear and close to you could have hurt you deeply and instead of instead of you know lashing out or what have you you're just it's it's the space of just being done not mad not angry you're hurt but it's not the hurt to where you lash out you're just it's it's an energy of just being over it so, for those who are resonating with that, for those of you who are resonating with that, I send you my love. Um, hopefully, you know, there's a message in here that will pick up those spirits and energies and help you to move forward. Okay, let's get some TT Music Oracle. One, so if I see broken and blue, walk on by. All right, In Love With You by Erica Badu featuring Stephen Marley. I like it by Switch. Next Lifetime by Erica Badu. And under the deck, we have Respect by Miss Aretha Franklin. All right. So, from this, this what I'm seeing here, what I'm getting, um, there was a lack of respect in this situation and um, rather than continuing to stick around you have respected yourself to do what makes you happy go where um, the love is healed some stuff um, respecting yourself enough to know that you deserve better and in doing so something new that is respecting of your time energy space who you are um, exactly as you are is um, available for you and is coming in um, this is um, there's a lot of um, Piscean energy here Virgo I am not sure what Miss Aretha sign is, but we have two Erica Badu songs here. All right. All right. So we'll take these two. Let's see. Our spirit animal messages. We have card number 56. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. Um, for some of you, I am getting whatever 
is coming in is um for some of you you've been through a, like an it's it's not even a dream it's been a nightmare and taking from though that hurt that pain that thing that scares you you are um taking the the fear off of, we just had fearless uh in the general taking the fear off of it and creating exactly what it is that you wish to bring into your reality instead of allowing um the the darkness and murkiness goodness all right ah yes definitely check out the um the general all right virgo we have cow spirit card number 15 miracles are endless uh, whatever it is that you dream and wish to bring into your reality oh oh okay sorry y'all my ear is like ah hold on Ooh. all right that was loud so whatever it is that you are oh hoping for wishing for whatever it is that is your um your heaven your dream reality you are um freeing yourself up to the possibilities virgo oh i saw this card in my head and i'm telling you there it is um, card number 44, Panther Spirit, uh, reclaim your power. That's how this comes in. That's how this um, brings itself about. Or in you, um, for some of you, this is uh, some dreams that you had um long ago and somehow miraculously god just is like bringing this into your um your awareness that miracles are possible miracles can happen and in you believing that and holding on to that you are reclaiming your power under the deck we have card number 61 give with gratitude and grace turkey spirit sorry guys if you hear noise in the background my apologies um let's see we have two six eight seven if those numbers resonate for you all right um very much uh an 11 and 44 Hmm. All right. Prime and math. Well, uh, not prime numbers. Master numbers. All right. This is a lot of grounding. This is this is um like uh, crown chakra downloads from from God, giving you the the power to uh move forward and oh wow power to move forward and and under for some of you you are understanding your dreams you're finally uh understanding what some dreams mean that you've been getting here lately um They've been giving you messages on things that you um, need to move on. And in you taking the initiative to make those moves, it is um, very empowering. And not only does it empower you, but it is um, it magnifies whatever it is that you are um that you are working on that you are putting your your faith into 
Starseed Oracle card jump in. Andromedan energy. Adventure. Say yes to change. Okay, Virgo. And I understand that change is really not so much your forte, but you are now um, opening yourself up to it. You are seeing things from um, a higher perspective of why these changes need to happen in order for your dreams to come to pass, in order for the things that you wish to have in your um, have in your lifetime not next lifetime for you to have in this lifetime taking uh, taking the initiative to um, act on some things even though some of the the things that you may be hearing the things that you may be seeing may not make um, grounded logical sense to you you still have this nudge to um, Embrace what God is saying to you and, and taking action. You are moving and acting accordingly, Virgo. If it's something that doesn't make sense to your mind, you don't really, you know, you're not, you're not into it. But with this um, overwhelming feeling of... Um, you getting these these signs and synchronicities that you should you're going to um, I'm hearing take the plunge again jump in a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision whatever this vision is it is creating a new environment for you it's going to create a new environment for you. Um, for some of you, this is um, um, you having uh, taken on a new job or something and you are in new territory. For some of you, this could be you, um, you moving um, from one place, one space to another. It could also be a, a new job opportunity. Take this how it applies for you, but it is um, very much um, you going from taking this leap of faith and, and doing so, you are creating the world and space that you wish to see. The seven star sisters, birth and creations, tapestry of life, expression. Reclaiming your power is giving you this energy of um, new creation, new, um, new ability to think and uh, make the, the earth or your environment what you wish it to be instead of what it, um, it has been in the past. This is very much about change. Perspective is under the deck. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. The being grateful for what you have, where you are, what you um, had to go through, what you had to learn. And you, sorry guys, that's um, outside. Um, I don't even, hold on a second. Zooming out and seeing things from a higher perspective. And in you giving this grace and gratitude opens the door for new adventures, new changes, again, new environment. Um, for some of you, this is um, a new... Uh, A new soul tribe, some new friends, some a new environment. Okay. Taking the leap of faith to um, do something new, to create what you want, allowing um, the miracles of happenstance to. Um, 
Ooh, okay. Happenstance to come out. Um, defending your territory, standing your ground, um, not really in the space of, um, not really caring what anybody else thinks, doing this for you, not for anyone else, doing this for you. For some of you, this is, is it's not even going to be, uh, you know, an announcement of, of any kind to anyone. You're just going to do it. It doesn't have anything, this new thing doesn't have anything to do with anyone else but you and what you want to have in your, uh, in your life. Just in your life. Doing you. Um, all right. Anything that was, um, a hurt or a betrayal or, um, something that, um, tried to overtake you and take your, your joy from you, you're over it. And it's not the, you know, space of just being over it. It's, it's healing from it. You are healing from it and allowing the miracle, allowing the miracle, being in a space of receiving endlessly whatever miracles God has for you. Whatever this is. It's you and it's it's you going home to what you want. You there's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of love here. Um, we have seven of wands and the three of cups. Um, three of cups came out in reverse. Um, again, this is this to me is not sharing your next move. Okay, not sharing your next move. Um, we also have this Ten of Swords in reverse, which is, um, which to me goes to the Ace of Swords. It's cutting things out, seeing things for what they are. Um, the Ten of, uh, Ten of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups upright. Nine of Cups upright um, is, is being your own happiness being your own, um, filling your own cups. And then we have the two of cups. Someone else joining with you on the same wavelength, on the same wavelength, on the same um, understanding. Their cup is full, your cup is full. Um, and this being more of a spiritual connection rather than um, something that is uh, that's physical. It's more spiritual. It has nothing to do with any outside energies or outside parties. This is you with, um, this could be you within yourself. This could be you with another or um, you in an environment that is completely what you love to do, no matter what anybody else says. You claiming the um, your right to express who you are. Under the deck, we have Eight of Swords. So this was very much that zooming out and seeing things from um, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things from um, a better light, um, no longer being trapped in your thoughts and um, thinking and replaying and replaying whatever the betrayal um, either was or the betrayal that, uh, that you have been holding on to that's not happening for you anymore. You're seeing things for what they are and 
um, keeping and holding the vision of what you want rather than um, I'm hearing um, uh, gosh it's more Erica Badu more Pisces energy Erica Badu's um, uh, gosh times are wasted uh, and I'm specifically hearing learn from your past you're learning from your past you are learning that um, what happened um, was not meant to destroy you but was meant for um, your growth okay Virgo it was meant for your growth and for that you are grateful that's what I am getting you are grateful for that growth and now that you've um, accepted the things that have gone on been grateful for it shown proper gratitude for the lessons learned you are able to ground that knowledge ground that experience take from it what it um, was there to provide for you and um, no longer overthinking or holding yourself captive by um, the thoughts of shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay? I like that. Because there, at the end of the day, by the end of the week, you are going to... Um, be in a space of acceptance and then um, doing what it is that you want to do, going after what you want to go after, uh, everybody else's opinion be damned. I like it. All right, we're going to leave it there. Um, the only sign or energy that I am picking up on for you right now is... Um, is Pisces that's a very big energy um, that's present here and that is that's really it okay all right nuggets I love you I love you from my soul and I send you all blessings and light take care <laughs>